Top of the howdy, this is Sean Fairburn with Myo3D. Okay, so today we're going to start off with the Fairburn 3D Multiplate 3x3 as a base, and we're going to mount up the Drift 170 Stealth cameras. Great little model, all black, nice and sleek. Very, very handy. Good little lenses, nice little imager. They also have a little onboard monitor. So you can get your alignment set up very fast out in the field. So you can tell if the imager is rotated or skewed, or if your angle is off, it's really, really handy for 3D. So what we're going to do is we're going to put together rigs with 1x3s and the 2x3s and the 3x3 to show different configurations to show how to mount the Drift Stealth camera and shoot some Myo 3D. In the mode where these are going to go side by side, you have a 70 millimeter interocular where they can fit into any one of these three positions, forward, middle, or backward. These are the holes where the quarter 20 screws are going to go into. Fire them up. Okay, this also gives you the opportunity to do some alignment, a little bit of convergence, and a little rotation. The convergence will be easy to be able to find the spot that works really well with both images. What's really nice about these is being able to spin the lens with the imager attached to be able to set the rotation for matching the two cameras. What's a little deceptive here is that the monitor is going to need you to look at it from the side as though it's straight. So the top, the left side of that camera is the top of that imager. And here's where having a little chart on a slate is really, really handy. Everything's straight, good to go. Okay, for another little down and dirty, this is a two camera 3D rig with a multi-plate one by three. We'll take a little set screw inside the multi-plate and attach to both quarter 20s. But instead of putting it in the middle, we're gonna put it right through the 3 8 hole. You can also thread it right through any of the threaded holes, any position, forward or backward, anywhere you need to go. I'm gonna purposely offset it into the 3 8 hole to allow me to have a little bit more play and to be able to move the multi-plate past the edge so that I can get the grip block into place. A little forward, a little backward, yeah this is a good spot. So now we'll attach the grip block and then attach the grip to the grip block using quarter 20 with a little Allen driver here. Tighten that bad boy down. There you go. Nice little two camera 3D rig. I need to build a holster for this. Okay, so the other configuration we have here with the Drift Stealth cameras is using three cameras with a 1x3, a 2x3, and a 3x3 to hold it all together. So to be able to get the spacing that we're really after to shoot Mayo, we have a small I.O., a medium I.O., and a wide I.O. at the same time. What's really nice here is that the configuration is the quarter 20 screw goes through the 3 8 hole and into the quarter 20 on the camera. And it's mounted on the edge or the side of the multi-plate 3x3. Gives it a nice solid base. On the 2x3, we have a set screw passing right through, holding the two other cameras together. That set screw is happening right here, right in this position. This still gives us the ability to do alignment as well as rotation. This will help match up really, really well to get all three working the same way. 
Always double check your sensors to make sure that the sensor indicator is all facing up. And there you go. This is Sean Fairburn. Stay tuned for more from Myo3D.